over the air. That you know that just went over the air. I know it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Edition. Uh, if you've seen this show, you recognize these faces. If you haven't seen the show, hang on. You're in for a wild ride for about two hours because Kyle, Kyle always laughs when I go over to. So I, I, I got to keep it at two or below. Uh, <laughs> tonight's episode is going to be entertaining and it's uh, going to be uh, a little bit different. Uh, than we have before. Uh, first off, let's welcome uh, our newest sponsor uh, at oddfishgames.com. Uh, Kyle, I think you might have mentioned it once or twice on Tuesday. I've uh, never heard of them before. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, I'm playing it cool in a loop, so Oddfish oh. wants to be sponsored even more by us. Is <laughs> <laughs> this Oddfish Games Adventure Sense? That sounds cool, I guess. And it doesn't stink like us. <laughs> it stinks much better. Uh, yes, oddfishgames.com is also uh, with Adventure Sense. So if you want to add a little uh, smell and scent to your game, uh, look them up. Uh, and also don't forget about Pirate Dog Dice, our other sponsor, uh, making the cool dice. Etsy store to go live uh, as soon as we get off our dead butts, folks. Make sure you guys ask for the dog turd dice because <laughs> pirate dog dice. Proof that you can polish a turd. These are the cast offs. That's right. <laughs> They're the dog you, turds. You know, we're totally going to have to make one with the, the poop emoji as the, as the one. He's already, already found me. The already stuff. on it, baby. Uh, <laughs> follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, uh, it's down there. If you want to chat with us on Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to see it on the show, either this show, uh, a regular show, or the talk show, hit us up mhobo inc gmail or twitter let us know we'll get you on there i mean look at these guys uh they never wanted to appear here but yet uh they've been dragged here we on. are i was there forced are. that's right uh let's the other go. members were like kyle please show up on thursday they desperately need you i'm like no i don't do this i have kids i have family and they're like but odd fish game is gonna sponsor us and i'm like all right odd fish games i mean yeah that's cool it's a good thing you've never heard of them before. Yeah, no. Never uh, heard of Oddfish Never game. heard about them. <laughs> uh, Kyle, who are you? But don't tell us who you're playing. Well, you know, screw it. Go ahead and tell us who you're playing. It's not that big a secret. Sure? Hi, I'm Kyle. Uh, uh, sometimes I'll DM, not lately because I'm busy, uh, but then I have to play more. Uh, you'll know me from, um, what's the character? Dewey Docamel. Uh, yeah. But tonight, I will be playing uh, Dibble Thibbet of Dibble Thibbet's Delivery. You Dibble Thibbet it, we deliver it. it. Nice. Wow. <laughs> this is uh, awesome. Next up is David. David, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm David, and I am lucky enough to get to hang out with these guys on Thursdays and sometimes Saturdays. <laughs> so uh, tonight I will be playing Zadar, and if you're not familiar with Zadar, he is an arcane trickster changeling. Um, as far as gender, definitely non-binary. So, yeah. It's a lot of fun to see what I come up with. <laughs> no, it's not. It's disturbing. It's really disturbing. <laughs> uh, last Is but that certainly... a fence post over there? That's a very attractive <laughs> fence, fence post. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fish that's hanging from that fishmonger's thing. That's Is that really an quite odd a... fish? No, it's a strange fish. What's the matter with you? Nice. <laughs> uh, last but certainly not least, normally our producer tonight. She's our producer. She's also our player. Uh, she's also the designer of Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, Carrie, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Uh, I am Carrie, and I get to play because I give sexual favors to the DM over here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm playing Camille, our wizard necromancer. Very good. There you have it, folks. Uh, we've got the cast made. Unfortunately, not all the cast is together. Uh, currently, Camille and Zadar are at the Adventurer's Bungalow, where uh, those losers all hang out when they aren't disturbing the citizens of Cacophony. It is uh, early morning. Uh, we'll start with a D12 from Camille and Zadar, please. Oh, boy. Nice. <laughs> Neat dice. So it begins. Uh, a D20? 12. 12. Oh, damn it. Ten. <laughs> I was just like, hey, that was a great roll. 10. Uh, not bad. 8. 
Uh, Zadar, you have uh, weird nightmares uh, of heights, and Camille, you have a weird nightmare of the Iron Cobra biting the Elven Councilman right in the face when a sturdy knock on the door uh, comes. Uh, who wants to answer it? Ernie's not here, so we know the damn door is going to get answered. <laughs> I'll answer it. It is Fauntleroy. Uh, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Fauntleroy, the chief steward of the guild, the adventurer's guild master of cacophony, Fomunda these nuts, says, uh, my lord, these nuts needs to talk to you. He has another job for you. Uh, you did not answer the first knocks, and several of your associates are already at the guild waiting on you. Okay. So if you could, please hurry. I still look like Gina Carano. I got bedhead and resting bitch face going. I'm like, nice. <laughs> so are we on lockdown from this whole investigation? Or are we good to go? Are we going to get in trouble if we leave here? No, you aren't on lockdown. Okay. All right. <laughs> so uh, Fauntleroy takes you over to the Adventurers Guild, leads you into Famunda D's Nuts, <laughs> and he says, uh, good. I uh, I see that you guys are well. Uh, the face bite appears to be okay on Zadar. Mm -hmm. uh, and you uh, are talking to Famunda, and he says, uh, the others have already been given their assignments. I have a special assignment for you. Uh, he first, however, gives you each 150 gold pieces uh, for hey. the partial successful resolution of the previous uh problem that you guys dealt with nice. uh, he is tired and quite haggard looking and it appears as though he has been up most of the night uh, reporting that Arawa the elven councilman has had no change and top men and women because we are not misogynist pigs here uh, are working on it but are at a loss for the malady uh, the boss says you are uh, the mission that you guys are given, not asked, given, uh, is to go out the southern gates uh, into Old Town, uh, which is the original settlement of Cacophony before the great big beautiful walls were built, uh, which don't really stop anything. Uh, you know, they're just more decoration. Uh, <clears throat> he says, please be careful. This area is on a slope, as you may or may not recall from your hot air balloon previously. Uh, you guys are to go to Old Town and seek out a gnome named Dibble Bibbit. Uh, he too is a courier uh, like FedEx, the deceased, uh, but is reputed to be part of a criminal element and care should be taken if he is found. Uh, this individual is said to have known FedEx. Uh, we are not certain about that, but you are to go and find this individual, question him and see what information Dibble Fibbit can give you. Uh, as always, there will be payment upon successful completion with proof. <clears throat> um, are there any questions? Do we know what he looks like? Nope. He's a gnome, so he's probably short. Maybe he's a giant gnome! <laughs> so he knew FedEx, right? <laughs> That is what has been alleged in the evidence uncovered during the night. And how did he know him? No? We do not know if he knew him sexually okay. or not. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to ask Dibble Fibbit that himself, should you be able to locate him. In <laughs> yeah, all right, I suppose. All right. Any questions? Is there any coffee uh, around here? My burns and Dibble Thibbet turns invisible and runs uh, far away from <laughs> It is possible. <laughs> Never to return. And Cacophony's right, in guys. the crapper again. <laughs> well, Dibble Thibbet is not a wanted criminal. He is said to be part of a criminal element. There is no warrant for him, <clears throat> so he should be safe. Buffalo PD is not here. So you should be safe. <laughs> uh, I bleed from my ears easily, so that's <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh. so Buffalo PD, if you want to send me hate mail, go ahead. Uh, you know, not like my email address. Anyway, uh, you guys are aware of where the southern exit is. All you need to do is get past uh, the governmental building, the red spot, 
follow the main drag through and go out uh, the southern gates. So is that what you want to do? And yes, Camille, uh, there is a strong tea brewing, not coffee. All right. Mm. I'll take that to go. Give me a constitution check. Oh. Let's see if it's a monster drink or maybe a decaf. <laughs> or it's chamomile. <laughs> Pass out. Uh, 15. 15, yeah, it's good. It works you right up. All right. All right. <sighs> Great. Uh, you walk through, you notice that the merchants of Cacophony are already setting up their stalls, uh, applying their wares, bringing in wood, etc., etc. The farmers have already arrived with the eggs. Uh, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey are here. Uh, you head down the main drag, uh, and you run headlong into a scholar. Odd Camille even Zadar. That's a 14. Zadar, a scholarly fellow, runs right into you, spilling a voluminous amount of books. Uh, as he bends over to retrieve them, uh, he's very apologetic. He's trying to gather things up, <coughs> and he looks up. Uh, you do not know this individual. Okay. <laughs> uh, he uh, apologizes again profusely. Uh, I'm very sorry. This is my fault entirely. Oh. I, I, I am searching for someone. Uh, perhaps, maybe, you may help me uh, find an individual who I am supposed to deliver paperwork to. Okay. His name is Mortimer J. Sneed. <laughs> he's an instructor at the Grand Academy, and he's currently on sabbatical here in Cacophony, but I do not know where. Uh, can hmm. you help me out with the information so I can deliver these tones? To him. Um, I would, but I have no idea where Mortimer is staying. I suppose you could check the government building. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, that was the last place we've seen him. Both of you give me a perception check, please. Oh, boy. Crap. Uh, perception. Okay. Um, 21. Uh, 13. Uh, Zadar, as you help the individual pick up his tomes, both you and Camille notice uh, the gilded lettering on one of them, a historical outlook on the creation of cacophony. Mm. Okay. So, that, for what it's worth. Uh, the individual yeah. says, where is the government building? Well, uh, we're gonna walk right by it. Yeah, you can follow <laughs> us. <laughs> you, you guys have been a huge help. Thank you very much. And he proceeds to go off in the correct direction. Uh, <laughs> you come up as the sun starts to uh, peek over the city walls. You reach the southern gate where some sleepy guardsmen are present. They've already lifted the portcullis. Farmers and other tradespeople are coming into the city with their wares. As you step outside, you notice that uh, the road leading out of Cacophony is straight. There are a few buildings on the right. Uh, there are about uh, 12 to 16 on your left, but the city slope, the uh, slope of the old town goes right down to the docks and the water. So care should be taken as morning dew is on the grass. Uh, as you look around, uh, odd even, uh, 15, Camille, give me a D4. Two. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, as you step out into Old Town, uh, the first thing you notice is the pungent aroma uh, coming up from the docks. It's almost as though odd fish are there. Get it? Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, you're slipping. Uh, 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 I apologize. I am so sorry. You're, on, you're not on the. I computer. thought there might be like some sort of pirate dog. Uh, uh, out there, you know, waiting on its pirate dog. Not this episode, Friends. maybe next. Uh, oh. Camille and Zadar, you you notice a very loud man with flaming red hair, and over and he's quite overweight, yelling. Did I mention he was naked? Oh man. He is proclaiming that he is the emperor, and no one is paying attention to him, and he's stomping around like a small child. Uh, would you like to deal with this individual? 
Is there anybody else around? <laughs> there are a plethora of people around. All of them oh. seem to be equally ignoring this ignoramus. Oh, uh, Camille. So, so why don't we ask? Does this happen often? Can we ask somebody if they know this guy? You reach out to even a female who is carrying a few loaves of bread and go, what, that asshole? Yeah, it happens all the time. He, every <laughs> morning, every morning. Uh, when the sun rises, he starts to get sunburnt and he has to leave. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, I say we just jog just on. <laughs> let him be. Okay. Okay, you got you guys go past that one. Uh, like I said, there are a <laughs> plethora of people, uh, males, females, uh, a variety of races. Uh, there's no real racism here. Everybody's equal in the eyes of uh, Cacophony and Philbar. Uh, so you need to find somebody to talk to. Uh, you see a group of individuals uh, nailing planks to a building nearby. Uh, you see a large orc pushing a cart, a hand cart, and you can hear tiny yips uh, from inside the cart. And then you see a bunch of kids playing with a ball, along hmm. with several farmers coming up out of the fields. <clears throat> so, which individual would you like to talk to? And, and do you know why you're talking to him? Well, to find... Probably not. What's his face, <laughs> Probably right? to find Dibble. Yes, you need to find Dibble. So which group okay. would you like to talk to? Or you can go back and talk to the naked guy. Guys, you should talk to the oddest looking group there. Someone who's acting really fishy. Or playing some <laughs> sort of games. How about yeah. the orc? Yeah. Nice touch. Yeah. The orc. The orc, yeah. Uh, the orc. You find a large orc is pushing a cart. Uh, and he has a sign on it that says, For sale s-a-i-l as you look into the cart it is filled with puppies uh he is asking one gold piece per uh puppy i will take a nature check by both of you oh <laughs> uh let's see nature is um yeah 12. uh 17. Uh, you both notice there's something odd about these puppies. If you've ever seen the episode where Stewie stole Brian's DNA uh. and had puppies, that's kind of what these puppies look like. Uh, the orc uh, is not pushy at all, uh, and he's actually very uh, respectful, which, you know, some DMs think orcs are all evil. I prefer to think that all humans are evil because it makes it easy. Uh, this orc seems to be a salesman trying to uh, pitch his wares, in this case, cute but moronic puppies. <laughs> uh, can I help you, uh, Thing and Mrs.? Because what, what form is uh, Zadar in right now? Yeah, he's in female form. Or uh, she's what in can, female form. What, what can I help you ladies with? Would you like to buy a puppy? They're very cute, and they have really scrunchy necks. Uh, where did they come from? They're adorable. <laughs> but... I, I am a breeder. Oh. You should probably not ask too many questions. Okay. Probably uh, not. <laughs> so, um, would you happen to know a gnome by the name of, what's his name? Gibble Thibbet. Gibble Thibbet. Gnomes are short, right? They're yeah. Very short. short, fat people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? What's his depending name? Depending on depending on it. Uh, Maybe it works out a lot. I don't know. Dibble. Dibble Thibbet. Dibble Thibbet. And he says, does he deliver? He does. I was gonna ask you. Do you know of a courier by that name? Oh, it's not the naked guy, is it? He's pointing up. He's pointing up? We look up. Uh, written in clouds is Dibble Thibbet Delivery with an arrow uh, <laughs> <laughs> down the hillside a little bit. I bear with us, sir. We, we just woke up. So... <laughs> There was no coffee today. There, there, or the coffee was really. Would strange. you like to buy a puppy? <sighs> Yarf. Oh, Yarf. Don't do that. Oh no. How, how many are there? Oh, there's a dozen. Oh, 
Uh, I buy them all and give them to the kids playing. Well, you gotta start that necromancy army somewhere. <laughs> Buy the puppets. Okay, so you call the urchins over. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a big mistake. Let's oh, have this right. as well. Play, play or just Camille and. Uh, I didn't say I was gonna call them over. I was gonna buy the puppies and give them there. Okay. Uh, so do you have uh, Orky take them over there? Yes. Sergeant Yorkie. That's what his name is. Sergeant, yes, Sergeant Yorkie. Yorkie of the Great North. Uh, okay. Uh, he gleefully accepts 12 gold pieces and uh, begins to move over to talk to the kids. This can only go well. Sure. Uh, the uh, Let's go ahead and throw up a uh, share screen right now, folks, and show them where they are going. Uh, not that one, though. Okay, so... You are right here in this open plaza. Mm -hmm. The arrow seems to be pointing right about this L-shaped building. Okay. Uh, okay. As, as you go through this area, you can tell that it is, shall we say, old and dilapidated. Uh, it would best be described as a shanty town, which... Awesome. Okay. You know, it, it, all of the buildings are older. They seem to have been here since the dawn of freaking time. They're probably built on caves. Probably. Caves. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you reach the bottom end, you see D. Thibbet delivery on the door. All right. So I guess that's where we need to go. So uh, let's hustle over there and get this done. Kick in the door and beat anybody inside. <laughs> no, 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 no. I knock. Anyone in answering? There's a little <laughs> open sign. You can just walk in. Ah. <laughs> it's a business, you know. You, you it's a business. You're going to open it up and go, can't you read the sign? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you uh -oh, knock on the yeah. door, and then you notice uh, there's a sign open for business. Well, it's polite to knock first. You never know. It's so. early. <laughs> it's D&D. &D. Sure, sure, we'll be polite. We'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you enter the store, you see a, a rather large sum of books, writing utensils, and documentation. I will take investigation checks from uh, Camille and Zadar. You also see a gnome hunched over working on his penmanship. Uh, 17. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I see that look in Kyle's face. It's just like, oh, crap. Three, four? Uh, 15. Uh, you both notice uh, some familiar signatures here. These appear to be receipts of some kind. Uh, you even see uh, a receipt from these nuts, Guildmaster of Cacophony. Interesting. Uh, hmm. The do, are you wearing spectacles? Me? Who me? Yeah. Uh, yes, because I'm actually writing a very tiny note. Uh, As Go ahead. As I do that, I'm writing this very tiny note. You open the door, and a mouth appears on the floor saying, Dibble Thibbet's delivery! You Dibble Thibbet it, we deliver it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be with you in just a moment, please. And, <laughs> and I roll up this tiny little note, and I put it on the back of a snail, and I wrap that up, put a little cap on there. I, all right, Gary, you need to go to Mortimer J. Sneed. <laughs> no. And the snail just goes across the table, just real slow. Just real slow, huh? Yes. I'm <laughs> working on snail mail. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you guys today? Get off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, see you later, no, guys. No, no. That was a thing. Thank you. <laughs> that was our episode, folks. <laughs> uh, there is your quarry, uh, ladies. So, um, you know... I I'd probably be willing to deliver that for you if you gave us some information. I run a delivery service. If I just started handing away my business, that'd be ridiculous. Well, you keep Besides, the money. Besides, Gary is trustworthy, convenient, well, you, you and keep... very speedy. <laughs> <laughs> so, if uh, you look again, Gary's gone. Oh, <laughs> well, Gary's gone. Okay. I must be a magic snail then. The snail from uh, uh, Never Ending Story. <laughs> there we go. 
can't say that. Can I deliver <laughs> something for you? Um, something important? Hmm. Something high up? Perhaps. I hear the mayor needs some stuff delivered. Adam West needs something delivered? Aww. Aww. <laughs> Too soon, folks. Rest in peace. Is he dead? Yeah. When did he die? <laughs> I'm, so I'm actually worry. immune. I, if I'm, I mean, I'm also sad. I have no idea. I, I'll look it up while you guys discuss. Okay. okay. <laughs> Role play. Role play. Because ah. I'm so good at this. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> June 9th. Uh, this 20, year? 2017. 2017. Like three yeah. years ago. What? Yeah. Wow, way to, Kyle. Way to stay current. <laughs> I didn't think it was that long ago. Well, yeah, let me ask you this. How old's your son? Uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, he died before he was born. Okay, because I was about to say, that would explain why you didn't know, because... Uh, you, you would be distracted. Yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> my wife wanted pickles and ice cream on top of pizza with pineapples on it. <laughs> Devil's food! Oh my uh, god. Buy that little... N nice things. He's not a child of Satan. Okay. I thought he was your clone. Yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Dibble, do you make deliveries to the the Adventurers Guild in Cacophony? Uh, yes. There's a receipt right there. Hmm. Do you need me to deliver something? A magic sword, magic artifact. Um, what are giant you, gems? What are you delivering to the guild? Oh, it's already been delivered. Hence the receipt. Oh, could you tell me yeah. what it was? Look at the receipt. Okay. Okay, I go up in a... Smack! <laughs> Don't touch the receipts! These are my receipts! What's the matter with you? Oh, you just go in and go behind anyone's counter in any store you're in? You said Watch to look it at now. it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well played. Well He's played. not even intimidated by how big I am, so it's <laughs> like... I pull the receipt down. I crush you, but my strength is only 11. So <laughs> all this is a facade. So we're evenly matched. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, so at least the DM doesn't have to do a lot of work. That's the important thing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, so could no. you tell us what it was? Yes. Please. Yeah, well, we, we have question about whether or not the parcel is actually going to make it there so we had concerns so hence we well, call, call on your pull out the receipt it's already signed by the head of the guild <laughs> from under these nuts from from under these nuts and it's the chocolate anuses that he was uh, ordering he was ordering those huh? <laughs> i mean they were refrigerated they had to get there quickly I would have sent Gary, but unfortunately he was already out making another delivery. I had <laughs> Charles. Do you have oh any? Have goodness. you delivered anything else for the guild? A lot of things for the guild. Recently? Uh, just the chocolate anuses. Mm. There was some edible underwear and a very large zucchini. Oh God, I gotta. Adam really... and Eve is not yet our sponsor. Mm -mm, uh, no. I think they're gonna be so. <laughs> I don't know. We play our cards right today. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So, okay. have you heard about um, the attack on the elven... What was his name? Arawa. Arawa. Uh, the elf guy on the council? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know uh, him? Not yet. I delivered something once to him, but that was like three months ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was um, attacked by... I have his signature and seal right here. Oh. Was that... And who, who might it be the, that it, the package was delivered? Uh, who was who was the... The... Sendy? What is the, the Sendy? Is, yeah, that's the term I was looking for. You don't uh, need to know that. Also, it's... Uh, not actually on the receipt. It's private. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's just like, huh. Well, yes, he was attacked by a, a metallic cobra. And his life is in jeopardy. Well, like I said, I haven't delivered anything to him. Maybe one of the other couriers did. So you don't mm -hmm. care that he's going to die. That's great. I don't know him. 
<laughs> well, he's one um, of your customers. You don't care about your customers. I'm gonna put from a, three months ago. I'm gonna put a bad Yelp review out about this. What the hell? <laughs> if you tell Yelp anything about this, I will kill Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> you will kill Yelp. You will be right? sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> the odd fishes. Damn it. Oh, oh she you beat you to it. it. <laughs> Damn, Kyle. Burn, man. Uh, You're rolling at disadvantage the rest of the game now. <laughs> yeah, I dibble, got it. I'm, I'm going to be blunt. It's uh, no, it's dibble. Dibble, dribble, whatever. <sighs> My feelings are hurt. Maybe we could go back out and, as it are, you could go back in as a attractive gnome female. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, nice that would that be really kind of... weird. Why are you telling me about this? <laughs> yeah, it's about to right. say. <laughs> Catch wow. you kind of out of the bag. <laughs> say that. <laughs> <laughs> Do that oh, changeling I... shit and come back. <laughs> 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 no, that's the that's the other player that likes to do that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my gin is getting to me. Well, Mr. Thibbet, it's just like, do you happen to know FedEx? Was he one of your couriers? FedEx is not one of my couriers. He's a competing courier. Little dwarf. Drunk. Likes I to thought... whore around. Oh, that's well, fun. that's very judgmental of you. Oh, fence most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a I mean, there are very himself. attractive fence posts here in Chicago. <laughs> But I'd worry about splinters, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he uses protection. Well, well, FedEx was the one that delivered that that the parcel. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen some of his associates and all that, so we're just here to make sure that other couriers are on the up and up. Of course I'm on. Of course I'm on the up and up. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, no, I'm okay. a criminal. <laughs> yeah. And I'm busy closing a few doors. Closing, <laughs> closing a few doors, putting papers Taking away. a big sack that says stolen goods <laughs> and a little dollar sign. I'm putting that away. Ooh, that's a clue. <laughs> well, I mean, since you, you know, seem to value uh, your company's disc uh, discretion, you know, with uh, keeping things... Uh, pertinent information. Only if you pay extra. Exactly. Yeah. So I put a gold piece on the table. Can I take a look at that receipt? You want to look at a councilman's delivery service and you want to pay one gold for the councilman. You Two master. gold. <laughs> I, have Two. A, I have a ring that I, I got last time I was here. I offer him that. Fifteen. Wow. wow. That's all that ring is worth? Damn. I mean, it was like a 500 gold piece to make sure it stayed a secret, but, you know, for 17 gold, why not? <laughs> wow. I don't so, think so. So, Dibble, so, so, <laughs> so 500 gold uh, for, for it to keep uh, confidential. Yeah. Wow. So um, only triple that to make it unconfidential. Of course. Of uh -huh. course. All the money up front. <laughs> and uh, if you would step on that board over there that has that little square outline, mm -hmm. that would be great too. Just go ahead and pay. Just and go ahead and walk around board. And step on that. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, Dibble. Yeah, sure. Um, no, but, um, well, given the circumstances under which uh, the council council memo, uh, memo <laughs> member. Oh, yes, the memo. Uh, Mumble, uh, the council member? And, Great guy. He's a... What's a race that's in D&D? I don't know. Oh, Huffling. come on, Kyle. Draconic, Genazi. Uh, he's a, a, a Draconic, a Dragonborn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> council member, member, the yeah, Dragonborn council. council member. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Great guy. I think that Sadar and I need to step outside for a minute and have a chat. <clears throat> okay. By the way, if you guys find FedEx, mm -hmm. uh, he stole something from me. So, you know, let me know if you find him. What would that be? Well, I might be able to arrange that. Was it a ring? <laughs> Was it a ring? It was a very special box. Looks hmm. a lot like this one. I pulled down a box. 
just looks like a cigar box with some interesting engravings on it. So is it a personal item? Yes. Oh. Very personal to me. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, you know what, you guys. If looks... I find that for you, how much would it would it mean to you? About five hundred gold worth. Okay. Guys, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Oh please! You're not giving me a lot of confidence here in your abilities. I'm going to close the shop early, and maybe I'll help you find FedEx. And maybe he can answer some questions for you. And uh, you help me get my box back. So, hmm, do you know about anything about the uh, giant guy screaming at the... Yeah, what's earlier? with the naked guy? How about a gay? The red-headed guy. Naked, red -headed guy. screaming. Oh, I don't know. He likes to pick up weapons when people tell him not to. I, I swear he's going to get himself killed one he day. No crossovers! No crossovers! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so have you seen any ogres around? Big ears? Two teeth? Little yeah. cross-eyed? Sure. Well, I know a guy named Dorian. He happens to pay FedEx to do jobs for him. Hmm. And where's he at? Uh, well, I don't know. And at that point, a little pigeon comes flying in. What's that, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, how truly I actually... unoriginal. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, no. <laughs> Shut up, Stavet. You keep that to yourself. Did the pigeon light on a stool by any chance? <laughs> oh, nice. Ah. Tying it in right there. Oh. Stool pigeon. Oh. I oh. Yeah. Right, Kyle doesn't watch Stool, the like uh, pirate dog dice. They're dog stool oh, dice. Damn. Proof that pirate dog dice can polish a turd. Oh, no. <laughs> so where's the oh. last place that you know Dorian was? Well, Steve just told us where. He did? Yeah. Weren't you listening? Oh, no. No. Uh, you should... You should really I don't attention. speak All right, pigeon. hold on, hold on. Get we out of my shop. We were so engaged with shop. you. We, we, <laughs> you know, you know, we really, we really just, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, clearly. Go go wait outside. I'll be right back. Fine. I uh, sure you will. <laughs> sure. And as you open the door, Dibble Thibbet's delivery. You Dibble Thibbet it, we deliver <laughs> that it. That magic mouth keeps going <laughs> oh, that off. Is a, that is a nice yes, touch. it does. I, I do like that. <laughs> Okay, we go outside. Go yeah. outside. <laughs> I tell tell you what, Camille. It's just like uh, you wait out here, and I cast Silent Image on myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and kind of uh, at the same time, I kind of morph into uh, a male human, uh, cloak up, and as the image is coming up, I just kind of walk past, and I'm gonna circle around back. Okay. Um, the reason, and I say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I do that. If he does not run out, it, at least I can investigate the area. So that's true. Uh, Camille, in just a second, you see Bill <laughs> Thibbet <laughs> come walking out. You dibble thim it, we deliver it. <laughs> click, click. I'm really getting tired of that. Okay. Are you ready to go? Uh, are, you in a, are you in a jaunty uh, traveling cap? and clothes? A little tricorn hat. I got there a little you. package. Oh, with there little, you go. <laughs> lots, of, lots of little scrolls in it to deliver. <laughs> I just look like a sweet little boy in my friendly mutton chops and my big curly beard. Do you look like Kevin Bacon in the movie Nobody Watched? Which one? <laughs> oh, Quicksilver. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin Bacon. We love you and everything else. You really tanked on that one. Yeah, six degrees, man. We were just off by it that much. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I'm so I'm completely underwear. I'm waiting for this little man to come out. And he totally just went out the front door. Yeah. 
Ugh. just like he said he would. Mm -hmm. So... No None um, whatsoever. It's like, God, it's, come on. Okay, so I... I wait a few minutes. So I stall. <laughs> and, and I realize that th this this plan might not unhatch. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... With that in, in note, I'm... But your friend the turns into attractive gnome sometimes. Is that true? Um... <laughs> Well, I'm kind of shadowing back. I'm watching them. So <laughs> <laughs> he he has a, a dual um, persona. Yes. Only two personas. Interesting. Yes. One of them is a big beefy woman, and the other is a very attractive. I'm I'm into both, honestly. Uh, Zadar, you feel a tug on your coin purse. Oh Lord! I reach up and grab the hand. <laughs> it is it. a dirty, filthy urchin child uh, telling you that you dropped this and it's a rock. <laughs> Just like, thank you. Hit it. Nice oh, hit I'm children. not there, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so. Lisa, may I have some pudding? I tell you what. <laughs> What can you tell me about the gentleman that owns this shop? He's short. Besides that. <laughs> he is the nefarious leader of an underground group called the Legion of Doom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this, child. Have you seen people that aren't quite that short and not as tall as me come out of there? One in particular, beard. What what color hair was uh, FedEx? It was he's, he's dwarf, so he's a redhead. He was a redhead, yeah. You mean FedEx? Yes. Oh, those two don't get along. They don't get along. Hit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna get my money out of this rock. Okay, my money's <laughs> worth out of this rock. Okay. So, what can you tell me uh, about them? Or is it do they argue a lot? Uh, do they? I mean, have you seen I, FedEx I, I around? The, have you seen FedEx around the store when he's not here? No, because Dibble has an alarm system. Oh, he does. Nice. And he has an attack snail. <laughs> <laughs> By the name of Gary. I don't know what the thing's name is. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was just like, oh, you disgusting little child. <laughs> I give him a I give him a couple of pieces pieces of silver. Gone. Gone. <laughs> okay, so I'm shadowing uh, Dibble and uh, Camille. You know, judging by how long your friend is taking, I'm wondering if he's breaking into my shop. He should watch out for Stavetta. He's my death snail. Oh. Uh-oh. That's scary. <laughs> uh... And I pull off a shoe and I'm missing seven toes. <laughs> on one foot, strangely <laughs> enough. <laughs> on one foot. Just seven stubs. <laughs> seven stubs. Stop. I, wait a minute. I think you killed my father. <laughs> <laughs> It is oh, count, count searching for the seven-step toad man. <laughs> you killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> you are my father. Prepare to pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> okay, devil, you got Camille. Uh, Zadar is nowhere to be found. No, um, can I challenge. do a yeah, do a stealth check? Okay. Please roll well. <laughs> <laughs> 19. You don't see him. Yeah, no. He's hiding behind a limb. Uh, <laughs> or a fence post. post. <laughs> Generally, sticky, the five sticky post fence post. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sticky fence post. You aren't really uh, sure why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh, someone needs to watch there. <laughs> uh, so what are you going to do, devil? Uh, let's go find Dorian. Sure, let's go do that. He's headed down the slope towards the bay. Okay, I let him lead. So uh, both, he... both of you roll d20s. 
anything but a one means you successfully navigate it. I was gonna ask. There's Isn't actually gonna be like treacherous a little... terrain. <laughs> There's actually a little hopscotch area, and you see as Dibble goes by, he hopscotches on it. But then he steps on the foot that's missing seven toes, and he trips and falls over. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so sad. Oh, oh. <laughs> and Camille laughs a lot. Oh. And cast fog clouds, so he can't, <laughs> can't, can't judge the clouds. stopping So point. sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I am trying to be as nonchalant as possible. It, it is a rather large open area, so your ability to go ahead and hide well uh, is not going to be prudent. <laughs> no, but I, I'm just but you can use trying this... to play it off as, as not obviously that I'm following them, you know. Sure. Well, Dibble's playing hopscotch, so it doesn't really matter. Go ahead, so... Dibble. <laughs> No one saw that? Still cool. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, of course. No, no. Okay. Why, why wouldn't I be okay? Uh, I, that was a long time. Let me do some amazing hopscotch. Uh, that's true. Anyway, uh, Dorian's uh, uh, down there in the water. He's uh, the one bobbing up and down. In the water? Good job, Steve. There is a large ogre sized individual, and his throat is clearly wide open. Awesome. He seems to be hung up on a limb or something. So, your friend appears to be... Not. I, I told him not to work with FedEx. <laughs> spit on him. <laughs> you spit on Dorian? <laughs> of course I spit on Dorian. I thought he was I want to make sure he's really wet. Oh, no, no. Uh, Dorian paid me for jobs. Uh, but he gave FedEx more jobs. Told him FedEx was going to kill him if something bad happened, and ha, you're dead, you stupid fuck. So what bad happened? Oh god, what kind of fish is that eating his corpse? I think it's an odd fish. <laughs> Just playing a game with him. Playing games. <laughs> it's called uh, Hide the Odd Fish. <laughs> uh, Camille, you, uh, you have some information for Dibble. I do? You guys uh, took down FedEx. Yeah, as, I know. That's why the else. ogre was running. Oh, that's right. Mm, do I tell him and that? And that's said ogre bobbing up in the bay. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys turn around to see Zadar? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think he's probably... No, I'm not, not sad. I'm, I'm just he probably just had that fence like, post... He just had to stop and go to the bathroom somewhere, so I'm sure he'll show up at some point. That's Hepatitis Carol's favorite fence post. <laughs> oh. oh, nice. Oh. You know, I'll be hearing about that one tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Carol, right. Carol, Bye. I'm sorry, I'm not referring to you. She, she is already on a different mission with others. Gotcha. So, so yeah, I guess I can fill him in about what happened with FedEx. So now Dibble knows that FedEx did not kill Dorian. Uh, Dorian somehow was killed by a third party. Perhaps you have an idea. I do. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would, I would actually need to have an actual hint on that. You gave me a lot of stuff to read. <laughs> gave a lot of We're going I, off script <laughs> here, man. I can't I, do this. Yeah, I, I didn't <laughs> script over. Uh, I did not give you that information. However, Zadar, give me perception check. And I perceive a natural twenty. Ooh. Camille and Dibble, give me perception check at disadvantage, please. <clears throat> Fifteen. Uh, nine. Uh, Camille, you do not hear anything, but you see Dibble point. Uh, Zidar, you hear clearly, plain as day, Hello, my dogs! My dogs! Uh, as a cart goes rumbling down the slope, oh, no. which you recognize as the for sale uh, cart full o puppies is rampaging down with the large orc ah, chasing it but not picking up any ground 
Uh, Nibble, Zadar, you also notice a girl uh, with heavy makeup of white uh, and wearing all black clothes, probably Wednesday Adams, uh, directly in line of this runaway cart as it careens down the, the hillside. And you can tell she's panicked. She is not going to move and she is going to get crushed by this damn thing. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to dash. I see this happen and um, potentially happening and I'm going to dash and try to get her out of the way. I know oh this is just going to lead to something horrible. Well, <laughs> here's the city wall. Here's Wednesday Adams. <laughs> right. So you're going <clears> to... <throat> well, wait, I thought everything went downward. It does. Yeah. Well, I didn't say I was going to lunch forward. I'm going to try to, you know... Sure. Uh, Blitz. <laughs> sure. Give me. Uh, first off, I want you to dodge the damn car. Yeah, I kind of. Uh, otherwise, that. you get damaged. Second, uh, I'll need you to make a successful hit on Wednesday Adams. Okay. And All Wednesday right. Adams is not her real name. So uh, the the dodge will be uh, a Dex acrobatics. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Okay. Please roll well. Ooh, natural 20 again. Damn, that dice is hot. Now let's see if you hit her or push her into the path of the runaway cart. <laughs> okay, and what is that? That's uh, an attack roll. Uh, attack roll? Okay. Dexterity is your modifier, though. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like that, that sound. Yes. Oh! <laughs> uh, Wednesday Adams looking individual sees you coming and does this uh, indicating that she is feared for her life and the cart plows into her pinning her beneath oh. uh, Dibble you see this would you like to run up there and try and assist as Zadar clearly pushed this small child in front of the runaway cart is how is how the press will see this. Oh Lord! I, I can definitely see how that's the case. I'll definitely yeah. run up and try and help the poor girl. Are you yeah. Go ahead and take Camille as well. I uh, try to pull, yes. push the cart off of her. <laughs> Very good. You do not have enough strength points. I don't even oh. need to know what they are. Uh, <laughs> Dib Dibble Zadar is grunting, groaning, and attempting to give himself a hernia. Uh, give me a perception check, Dibble. Uh, that is a 13. Did I tell you who this person is, or was I saving that? Uh, I believe this is uh, uh, Miss Zubak. It is indeed. Uh, Zubak, would you like to help Zadar you? lift the cart? Uh, I'm just making sure he's not pushing the cart even more onto <laughs> her. Oh. <after> her <laughs> he, he appears to be giving the old college try to lift the cart off of Wednesday Adams. Oh, then I will do so, yes. Uh, what's your strength? <laughs> the same as his. <laughs> what is that, 11? 11. So the two of us together <laughs> <and> assist. <laughs> uh, close. You still don't have enough strength points. Uh, Camille, who is still slow, has managed to reach there, uh, as has the orc. Camille, Zadar, and Dibble appear to be trying to lift the cart off Wednesday Adams, the goth child, but don't seem to have the nuggets to do so. Would you like to help them? I suppose I will try to wedge my quarter staff in there and lift it off. Uh, Pythagorean theorem works. Uh, <laughs> it's like strength points go over twenty-five. You manage to lift the cart, and Orky, the lar or Sergeant Yorky, uh, manages to drag a poor Wednesday Adams out. To wit, uh, Dibble exclaims her name. Dibble. Zephyr Zubek! It's a good thing that the cart wasn't filled with puppies, otherwise you would have been smashed to smithereens. That's true. I you thought it was. Hey, so, work fellow, good job selling your puppies today. So I, I checked to see, I mean, is she alive and breathing, or just... She's hurt, but she's okay. okay. Uh, she's looking to try and get away from you guys. Okay. I am... She's, uh, she's a goth teenager. She has yeah. a lot of attention. 
Right. Hey, uh, hello. I, I, why, I s- why are you trying to get away from us for? He tried to kill me. No, he didn't. He tried to save you. By pushing me in front of the cart? Well, it was I a, saw it. it was, <laughs> I'm pretty clumsy. It was yeah. an accident. I, 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 I say, I, I gotta say, I'm pretty clumsy. I, I was trying. I'm a necromancer. Really How much more goth can you get? <laughs> uh, this person's Good not point, gonna... Yeah. Um, you know what? Camille Zadar Persuasion. Yeah. <sighs> I just need to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> oh, shit. Into the dog food. Okay. Nine. Um, Nine. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen's good enough. Uh, she feels a kindred spirit, a bond, if you will, with Camille, and slyly hands you off a packet of strange herbs that smell kind of funky and medicine-esque. Uh, she says, I owe you one. And then she attempts to leave. Uh, Zadar, Camille, insight check, please. Seven. <laughs> wow. Clueless bastard. Eleven. Uh, apparently that tumble I took <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to save her, uh, yeah. Sure. You, you probably took a headshot. Camille, probably did. the name Zubek is very familiar, but it's usefulness escapes you at this moment. Uh, let's see. D6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Dibble looks at you, shakes his head, and goes, Do you not know who that was? That was Zing. And a crossbow bolt comes flying. Oh, shit! No! <laughs> Across. What's your AC, Dibble? Uh, 11. Uh, that is a 6. So no! <laughs> it sticks and shoots into the puppy cart, the empty puppy cart. <laughs> oh, it's empty. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because Camille bought them in. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, so many dead puppies at that point. <laughs> Dibble, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I was, was going to be the puppy killer and just tank Please. our ratings. Uh, Dibble, you look. Zadar, you look. Camille, you look. Give me investigation rolls to see where the fuck that where bolt came from. from. Oh my god. Okay, not bad. 19. Uh, 21. Investigation, you say? Yep. You say? Okay. Uh, 25. All three of you spin around to see what appears to be uh, a cloaked individual, a halfling <laughs> with a blowgun shooting a crossbow bolt out of it. Well, that's uh, impressive. Yeah. 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 Uh, that must be Lungsy McGee. As a male or female. Famous halfling <laughs> assassin. Mm-hmm. It fires. Actually, it. you do know who this is. It's Mitzi Lightfoot. Again, uh, Dibble Thibbet is the target. <laughs> Son of a bitch, no! <laughs> it's, it's odd that you would be targeted twice. Uh, yeah. Uh, that one's going to hit with a 16. I need you to roll a DC 15 versus Constitution, and you are going to nope. take uh, one hit point of damage. However... You're floating. Oh, boy. And everything uh, is slowing down. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Camille, Zidar, you look over Dibble <laughs> as a message uh, and is doing the young guns on peyote peyote scene oh round up uh what is what did he say uh regulators regulators Uh, yeah yeah Uh, camille and zadar you may attempt to dibble or you may chase the now empty blowgunned uh halfling is she running away or it running away it is running away uh since her target has been 
located. Inverted even. <laughs> Inverted. Dibbles have in a problem. Uh... I was really upset I didn't hit you with the first one. Yeah. <laughs> I only have two shots. <laughs> okay. How about Ray of Frost? Oh, nice. Uh, give it a shot. You have to hit me for that, right? Crap. <clears throat> Just keep throwing your dice in the dog bowl. I know. <laughs> um, That'll help it roll. Because pirate dog dice, they don't care about no dog poop. They care about dog poop. Nice. Pirate dog dice. But they don't roll like that, so... They uh, don't. They roll really well. Does 14 hit? Uh, yes, 14 does hit the halfling. Okay, and that is... Uh, Are you laughing at me? Uh, no, that was Dar laughing at you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, three. <laughs> three damage. Mm -hmm. uh, you freeze her and slow her down. She's going to try and continue to run away. Uh, Zadar, I'll give you a shot as well. Do you want oh. to help Dibble bit, or do you want to uh, put the uh, hold on her? Uh, I'm going to put the hold on her. Okay. okay. I'm going to try to intercept. That's a lot of water. Okay. A super uh, dashing? Yes. So acrobatics again, or? Yep. Okay. Make that shoestring tackle. Stay golden, pony boy. <laughs> 21. Oh, very nice. Brings her down at the 30-yard line. <laughs> Mitzi Lightfoot goes down. Uh, give me a D4 for damage, please. Three. All right, you guys are really just kicking the shit out of her. Uh, Dibble, give me a constitution save again, please. Uh, 19. What in the fuck is going on here? <laughs> 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 Dibble, you have regained control of yourself. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, no. <laughs> Woo, nice. 19. Uh, 10. Zadar, 6. 25. 25. Dibble, Fibbit. Uh, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you by the way, you still have the dart in your <laughs> neck. The dart that's a crossbow bolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. From Mitzi the <laughs> lung light foot. <laughs> it, it's got the uh, fringe on it. Your, uh, uh, what was that, old school? Does she, <laughs> does she suck as well as she blows? Oh, you just took a drink dart to the neck. <laughs> All right. I will, uh, I will uh, cast Jim's magic missile. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> great. Uh, no. go, go ahead and explain that for the folks. Yeah, around. explain gems. I, I know <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> well, I t what? I'll read off the thing. Any apprentice wizard can cast a boring old magic missile. Sure, it always strikes its target. Yawn. Do away with the drudgery of your grandfather's magic with this improved version of the spell as used by Jim Dark Magic. This is a spell found in the Acquisitions Incorporated book. I now have to roll to hit, but if I roll a one, every single dart comes back and hits me instead. <laughs> wow. A acquisitions did do that one right. I love Acquisitions. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. One. This is not a pirate dog dice. Guys. It is not, is obviously. Chessex dice. Screw them. Always get pirate dog dice. So good they can polish a turn. So you take uh, how many? <laughs> I take. Oh my god. Uh, three points of damage. I got you guys. <laughs> I look back, all of a sudden I just see purple missiles just hit. hit. You know, I was just like, where the fuck did that come from? Let's just kill Dibble right now. Yeah, god. All right, and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> uh, that brings us to Mitzi Matrone. She is pissed. 
Uh, I believe... Nope, she only gets one attack. Uh, odd, Camille, even Zadar. Uh, that is a 16, Zadar. 17 on the die, plus 5. Does it 22? <laughs> I don't know. Let she me uses a yes. rapier, uh, which is a finesse weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not going to give her sneak attack because she was trying to flee. Whether or not that's right, it doesn't really matter. We've already kicked her ass. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you kicked her ass for six freaking hit points and she just did eight to Zadar. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a bitch then. She is a bitch, and that brings us to the 10. Camille, you're uh, up. Uh, Dibble Thibbet has been extremely less than helpful as he decided to shoot himself in the neck. <laughs> or, now I've got all the darts. <laughs> uh, Camille, looks like you and Zadar are going to have to put... Uh, I'm going to have to put her down. down. Uh, and I need to know if you're going for kill damage or uh, non-lethal damage. Uh, non-lethal. Okay. How far away is she? She, you are right on top of her because Zadar has swept the leg, Johnny. Okay, <laughs> so I'll use my quarter staff on her. Okay. Please are we be, going non-lethal? <laughs> We're going lethal, huh? I think she's going non-lethal. Non-lethal. Sure. Non-lethal. Oh, okay. Eleven. Uh, eleven's gonna hit her. Okay, and. Uh, 11 is your magic number to hit her. Okay. Dibble. <laughs> Not a one. Two ones together. That was great. First time ever using that spell. That is awesome. <laughs> Five. Oh, well, now you're starting to dig into her. Zidar, you are up. Okay. Uh, she has gotten just cracked on the noggin. Okay, uh, hopefully she's a little disadvantaged because I'm going to make her make a wisdom save. 14. Free! I don't think she has 11. Zadar the pulls bonus. a comedic, uh, really funny looking cartoon like face. If, if Dibble sees it, he's going to be freaked out. <laughs> well, Dibble's behind still you, high, so he's safe. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh. Anyway, so I cast Tasha's hideous laughter. She drops to the ground, the grassy ground. Let's see if she starts to roll. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> and uh, you notice that she begins to roll and you put your foot up as she <laughs>, laughs and laughs and laughs. A crowd has started to gather around you, uh, noting the disruption, uh, and are understandably curious as to what in the frick is going on <laughs> with the wolf. Bit. <laughs> uh, shooting himself. Uh, what do you want to do with Mitzi Matrone? And was like, Mitzi, I can do this all day. Who sent you? <laughs> Is... Give me an intimidation check. Okay. Intimidation. Okay. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I pull a mean face this time. I got a 19 on my roll. What's yours? Oh, God damn it. 18. She's not talking. She's too, 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 you're so stupid. You, you, you're the no, the no, the no. <laughs> uh, your, your hideous laughter is a little bit too good for her. Uh, okay. Top of the order. Dibble Thibbet. I walk over and I stab her with the crossbow bolt <laughs> <laughs> okay go ahead oh my god i'm gonna be a one this time it's gonna be a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> so we're skipping the non-lethal point okay yeah uh, give me give me Oops. a one give me a one d6 one d6 that's that cube looking dice that's a five uh now d12 against me let's see if any of the toxin is still on the bolt that's a nine. Which one is a D12? There we go. That is a four. <laughs> uh, that's her turn. Camille, you're up. Uh, now she is drugged, laughing, and bleeding. 
God. Oh, I say we take her back to my place since it's oh, the closest place. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm strangely comfortable with that. Yeah. She will get a roll. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Okay, uh, I summon Omen, and uh, in the form of a black flying snake. Okay. And uh, Omen's gonna be with me just in case, because <laughs> you know the flying snake stats and all that. Correct. So. Uh, you guys begin to take her back. Where we go? <laughs> uh, starts to drool uncontrollably down there as you guys I say leave. very loudly Mitzi you're not supposed to be delivering packages this drunken high come on back to the shop we'll have you back to normal soon persuasion check twice please for the crowd uh, could I use deception since I'm lying my ass off <laughs> I will give you deception thank you that is a 17 and a 20 Ah, uh, the crowd seems to mind their own business as you cart off the uh, drunken, stoned, bleeding, near-death halfling. Uh, you go in. Uh, I assume you're unlocking the door. Yes. And as you enter, uh, yes. thim it's delivery. <laughs> you dibble thim it, it. We deliver it. It. <laughs> what do you guys want to do with her? <laughs> yeah, um... sober her up and question her. Yeah, while she's still incapacitated, uh, I grab a rope out of my bag and bind her. <laughs> because he carries a rope, a bag of lye, and a shovel. Nobody's mm -hmm. judging, David. Yeah, nobody's <laughs> judging. Uh, she is still out of it, and she is still laughing. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys are funny. Oh. Uh, you get her tied up. Uh, still out of it. Okay. Done laughing. Where am I here? <laughs> and uh, I, I motion Omen to hover, like, right in front of her and stuff like that. Is so. that your penis? <laughs> wow. Yes, I went there. Oh, I was thinking She's of something really <laughs> inappropriate, but no. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I just start poking her with my dagger. Oh! oh. No. Oh, wow. For poking. damage? No, just to, you know... Where, where is Zephyr when you need her? I'll give her advantage on uh, breaking free from the... Ow! Hey, bitch. Stop poking me. Just little pinpricks. <laughs> oh, I must be in dibbles. Oh! Nice. <laughs> you know, he is an odd fish. Games. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, bitch. Okay. What the fuck were I you make doing? I rear, you know, well up on it. All like I that. heard I'm was gonna... rear, so now I'm concerned. <laughs> A snake in the rear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm using omen to try to intimidate her and it's just like mitzi tell me who sent you oh my gosh using a familiar to intimidate steve get down here intimidate her <laughs> she is unintimidated by your threats she really does not like camille's uh pricking uh and she's looking around and grows great and then dibbles I continue to poke her. Mitzi, why did you try to kill me? Mitzi, she's not uh, going to stop. <laughs> you know why I'm killing you. I can kill you and resurrect you and ask you then. You aren't that powerful. <laughs> you don't know that. I know enough. Uh-huh. Uh, Dibble... Uh, she points out that you are extremely well aware of why uh, she's been hired to uh, finish you off. So, Dibble? Why am I being tried to finish off? Because you killed Dorian. I didn't kill Dorian. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. 
<laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> so, so yeah, this puts us in quite the quandary. Who said double. that I killed Dorian? Tungsten said you killed Dorian. Who's Tungsten? Uh, you would be aware that Tungsten is a rather higher up individual, seedy disposition that runs Old Town here. Uh, D12 against me, uh, Dibble. Sure. 12! That's a 12. I got a 3. Uh, his office such as it is is the tavern on top of the hill you know it as the armed crab <laughs> who comes up with these names i swear these towns these these crossover baby i crossed <laughs> over uh she is alleging that uh, you killed uh dorian and if she doesn't finish you off her family's gonna die do we care not really. Dory, uh, Dibble will yeah, not care. Just, well, no, <laughs> no, not I'm, really. I'm, I'm okay. I'm telling her. Why do we give a shit? Yeah. You have no soul. That is true, but how did you... A necromancer? Duh. <laughs> Fair enough. I was hired to take care of Dibble because he killed Dorian. And Dorian was a close personal friend of mine. I met him once. So what was Zubak doing by the the docks? Zephyr, the goth girl? Yeah, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so Dorian uh, was a close personal friend of yours. Yes, we knew each other well. Knew each other. He paid for no. favors. <laughs> Lady <laughs> favors. Ah. Uh, he knew of this really particular fence post and uh, <laughs> would often lead people there. So, uh, uh, she will uh, say, uh, my fence post does not swing that way. So you're not killing him or you're not trying to kill Dibble because you want revenge for Dorian. Somebody else is pressuring you. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying I'm in it for the gold. No, so you, you just... don't care about your family being killed either. Exactly. Ah! What the fuck? If I kill you, my family's fine and I get paid. If I don't kill you, they're going to kill my family. But if I kill you, I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's full of shit. Yeah. Okay, just um, put her body uh, right there on that floorboard. With that, this one square. right here? This one here. Those Dibble? particular ones, yes, yes. yes. The okay, one with yeah. the X on it. Okay. Uh, chair and all, just, just drop it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We do that. Yeah. She's on the uh, X. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Down she goes. Now I assume it's a pit. She's now big fat person. So. Right. Is we there a poodle going. down there? Uh, no, it actually leads into the sewers where Garrett, the alligator, lives. He's high on meth hmm. and the wonderful smells of Odd Fish Games and Venture Sense. <laughs> the witch! Oh my god. The sewers. sewage is impressive. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. And I... so is Garrett, the meth alligator. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so this halfling goes tumbling <laughs> down into the sewer. That's right, Franks. There's meth alligators. In meth the alligators. Yeah. So I want to have uh, a conversation with you guys. Sorry. So we were told to find you by the Adventurers Guild. They said huh? they didn't know anything about you. However, you've been delivering there. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm a courier. No one pays attention to couriers. Mm hmm. I don't so know. Only one of it? you saw FedEx. I, I find it hard to believe that the our guild sent us here saying they didn't know anything about you, yet they're uh, using your services. Table talk, Frank. Well, did they we recover a box when we searched FedEx's room? Uh, you did not find the box. Okay. 
Gwyneth Paltrow's head was merely on the table. What's in the <laughs> box? Um, all right. Uh, I don't know. I am so over this. <laughs> That's what makes a good adventure. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. I don't know what to do. Oh, It's over. Dibble, why, why <laughs> was that box so important to you? Just level with us. It had my things in it. Very important things. FedEx stole it from us. What things? And I tell you what, this is tungsten. FedEx went to tungsten. I was going to ask that. And is obviously trying to implicate me in the oh, well, which now, I yeah. did not do. You're uh, starting to stick on your stream. And you know what? I got to get that picture. I got it. <laughs> nice. You are really going to hate that picture. Oh, this one's better, Frank. <laughs> I, I can't do two. Uh, I hate having to hurry. That's like a serial killer. Oh, that's, that's right. even better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a serial killer, all right. <laughs> and then he uh, you're, and you're moving around a little bit. And he reproduced. That's the scary part. Am I bad? Sort of. Voices. Audio is back. Your video is still stuck. You're yeah. this disambiguous head. <laughs> uh, that's closer. You You're really going to like all the pictures we've taken of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be another meme. Oh, great. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, at least we can hear you now. So, uh, Camille and Zadar have cast doubt on your story, but all three of you seem to believe the tungsten is possibly the issue. If yeah. you, what would you like to do? So where is Tungsten at? There uh, you go. Now oh, you're back. there he is. Yeah, there he is. You're back. Hey. And you're, you're cute. Look at that. Cute. You're not a serial killer. Oh, uh, he's going to fuck up the cameras again. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. What are you talking about? Uh, we got two devils up. Oh, know. do you? Yeah. yeah. No, I, 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 a, a uh, double devil. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, quick. Oh, my God. What the hell? Okay. Got it. All right. We're cool. Oh, Lord. <laughs> We're Hobo Inc., folks. There We're Hobo Inc. Yeah. Oddfish is so happy to be our sponsor. <laughs> right. Can we rescind our offer of sponsorship? <laughs> nope. Locked in. Oh. Locked uh, in, bud. So, so you guys... To be fair, I did try to drive away Oddfish Games with an overabundance of love. Like that crazy ex that you had back in college. You were rather but just like those stupid jocks and Delta Phi Kappa, <laughs> they saw the crazy eyes and said, I want to ride that ride. <laughs> because no, let's be I fair, if you're, having, <laughs> if you're having physical relationships and you're not wearing a, a chainmail vest because they might stab you in the middle of it, it's not exciting, is it? Odd fish games. That took a weird fucking turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm pretty Zing. sure we'll have a sponsorship open if somebody wants to do yeah, that. Perhaps, perhaps chainmail shirt. Again. Com or something. Adam and Eve. Yeah. It might be a thing. <laughs> now, they have to go with Adam and Eve. Uh, Cirillas. Oh, we got a Cirillas locally. Maybe, you know. Mm. We'll just throw a purple bag over this show. Uh, anyway, uh, all signs point to tungsten. Uh, and uh, Garrett the meth alligator. <laughs> Garrett the meth alligator. You know what? I'm gonna. How I'm did gonna he roll. get involved in meth in the sewer? Uh, cause well, sewer, there's a door sewer. right near. <laughs> you just pour the meth down there. Some people like <laughs> it delivered. Or he eats the meth addicts. Sometimes yeah. Dibble just takes oh, it right off the top. That's true. Uh, spoiler alert: uh, Garrett's no longer hungry. Mm. <laughs> That's good. She was a bitch anyway. Nice. So let's go to Tungsten. And then uh, you can find out where FedEx is. You can help me get my box back and we'll be all hunky dory. We told you where FedEx was. Where's FedEx? He's dead. Dead you as killed him. Actually, they did. <laughs> they did. Wow. I, I really should have watched that episode. Check. But yeah. Shitty uh, medicine check. I'm just him. like. Community. Oh, he, he, I thought he, it was the elf councilman who too. died. <laughs> he's in a coma. I oh. told you he's ill. So you guys are going to climb up the hill to the armed crab? Sure. 
Uh, as you do so, Camille, Zadar, Dibble, uh, go ahead and give me perception checks. Perception checks? I see nothing. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 12. So. Mm. 20. Uh, good news. Zadar, Camille, the urchins that you had uh, Sergeant Yorkie give the puppies to have mistreated them, and a total of nine urchins are now suffering from puncture wounds as the puppies have bit into them and yes. uh, are doing some damage here. It's about to get ugly there. You reach the crest of the hill where the road is, and there are two large structures here. One is Ye Old Inn. I-N-N-E, and the other <laughs> one has a sign of a crustacean holding a dagger. Uh, it appears to be the armed crab. Nice. Uh, you can go in there if you would like. Well, I'm kind of hungry. Maybe they have odd fish to eat in there. Oh! oh! That's two for Gary. Uh... <laughs> You head into the dilapidated tavern on the ridge, and the sign outside has the image of a dagger-wielding crustacean. Entering the shoddy business does little to bolster your calm, as the atmosphere is dirty, yeah. smelly, smelly. Mm. and the barmaid is mopping up a large pool of blood on the floor. Is anybody the wearing masks? Uh, no one is wearing masks. Uh, no one is social distancing in this shithole. Yeah, I'm occupants. wearing a mask, but it only covers my mouth. My nose is just <laughs> in the open. I am the Lone Ranger. <laughs> uh, the occupants look at you, grumble under their breath, but do not speak to you directly. I will take investigation from all three of you. Ah, uh, fuck. That's always good news. Yeah. That is a 16. 21. Mm, five. You're a wizard, Carrie. <laughs> uh, 21. You spot a door to a back room. 16. Dibble. You spot a strumpet, a gnome female mm. of questionable right, right. hygiene. Uh, and of course, Camille spots two unsavory looking dudes from Dirty Harry, and they are scratching their head with their dagger. But each time they scratch, they go a little too deep. deeper. <laughs> and they maintain uncomfortable eye contact with you. Uh, I'll take initiative from everybody. Oh, oh Lord. That's not good. Wow. Right off the cuff. Huh? Shit. Oh. Yeah, eight, that's three. Eight. Seven. <laughs> oh. oh. Boy. Oh, wow. Uh, Zidar, you have a clear path to the back room uh, where a couple of hulking dudes have just uh, exited the door. What would you like to do? <clears throat> uh... Yeah, this isn't going to be good. Um, God. I try to make a bolt for the door. <laughs> the back door or the front door? The one the one that opened the two hulking sure. guys. So. Uh, you want to just blast past the uh, two gorillas? Uh, I'm going to try to circumvent around it. D20. So. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> You can use your dexterity modifier. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay, not too bad. 19. Uh, Zadar Sean of the deads it over the different tables and stools <laughs> and makes it to the back door. Next up is the eight, uh, or I'm sorry, the seven. Dibble, uh, you get the seductive... <laughs> Uh, nice. Absolutely. I might find a new fence post back there. <laughs> she uh, leads you to a darkened corner where mm. certain advances of an adult nature are made that even a blind and deaf individual could pick up on. Uh, but 
but first she asks for a little currency, lover. Check out my weasel first to see if you <laughs> want me to pay. <laughs> At uh, which point, a weasel with a actual... little satchel. <laughs> A weasel with a satchel that says Dibble Thibbet's delivery service. You Dibble Thibbet it, we deliver it. <laughs> she points out that the weasel is extra. Oh. oh. This is not If you're not friends. accepting of my weasel, I'm not accepting of your wares. Go find a fence oh, post. She, she's accepting. There's just going to be a surcharge. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I make a run for it. Uh, for her directly, ah! I assume. <laughs> no, I'm gonna <laughs> go for the back door as well. <laughs> uh, give me a dex, uh, a d20 roll of dex. Ooh, that's a 17. Uh, you managed to also uh, barrel roll over the tables and skirt the two gorillas as yeah. they look at you and Zadar in puzzlement. Uh, last up is Camille. I'm like, come on. Oh, shit. Yes. Hey there, pretty lady. Are you a healer? I could be. Because I've got an itch right here. <laughs> Do you need to be healed? No, I just like digging on myself. <laughs> but you said there were uh, two of them right, though, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no. They appear to be twins, but opposite twins. The opposite sides. <laughs> <laughs> so... How about I take you two and towards the back and we, you know. Or tungstens? Yeah. Uh... Oh, come on. A couple of guys like you? What are you afraid of? Tungsten. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, thank you. No. No, they spin around back on their table. Blood continues to drip down onto their shoulder and they return to their beverages. Wow. The, gorilla, the gorillas walk outside and you have a clear, easy path to the back door if you want it. Sure. Uh, I feel like we're going to jump the gun. Give me a D20. Add your dex modifier. <laughs> sorry my eyes are dry that's fine sorry uh 18 oh very nice uh a woman known as fatty patty attempts to trip you she's with the u.s postal service if you saw <laughs> <laughs> if you saw the heat you know which one i'm talking about uh and you manage to step over abruptly uh without tripping and you arrive with double thibbet and zadar at the back door Glad you can make it. <laughs> what took you so long? I I was trying to have some action, but everybody turned me down. You should hang yeah, out. Yeah, no, with that girl in the thing didn't we're, care. For the we're we're gonna have to talk about your taste in, <laughs> in people <laughs> and weasels. So, so anyway, they appeared to be scared of tungsten. Uh, Dibble, you will know that tungsten. Yeah, you know, runs old town, and he's not somebody you want to mess with. Uh, he's a little bitch. Let's go get him. <laughs> Let's do this! Yeah, no, uh, just look big, scary, puff up your coat, you'll scare scary the scary rock! rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wants to open the door and walk in first? Okay. Uh, Camille pulls on the door latch, the door opens up. Uh, entering the office, you catch Tungsten a bit off guard, but he seems to recover quickly. He happily greets you, Dibble. Oh, it's good to see you, my favorite delivery man. How are you doing? Well, well that's you know interesting. How it is. You Dibble thibbit it, we deliver it in. That's what I like about you. If and I else, take the consistent. crossbow bolts and I throw it at the desk. Had a visit from uh, uh, Mitzi the Lung... Lunger? Matrone. <laughs> Matrone. <laughs> Did she ask you to deliver this to her? But you asked her to, to deliver it to me, you know? She, 
you know how she can shoot a crossbow bullet of a blow she tried to, she, she said you tried to kill me wait uh, no she tried to kill me because you paid her and threatened her family uh-huh uh, and now she's with garrett and you can be the same Garrett, Sorry, you don't alligator. know Garrett, the meth alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I know Garrett, the meth alligator. Oh, uh, <laughs> we've I'm shared sorry. some lines before, you know. <laughs> why, do you, why do you think I would hire somebody when I could just come down to the office and kick the shit out of you? You don't do your own work. You got to put your own work in around here. Plus, there's Larry, the death snail. <laughs> you wouldn't cross him. <laughs> Dibble... Pull out my boot, seven stubs on a toe. Yeah. Dibble, who's your mouthy friend here? Um, this is Zadar, and this is Camille. I might have their names mixed up. Honestly, I, I didn't pay it. it it's a crapshoot. I don't know. Apparently, who you are. She can look like a really hot gnome. That might be useful. But I don't know who you two are, but I have a certain set of skills that I can use in case you anger me. So I don't know what your problem is. Dibble, I have a job for you when you're ready. Okay, yeah, sure. Pull out some piece of paper. What, what do you need? Points at Camille, points at Zadar. You two, out of my freaking office. No. Guys, guys, it's Okay, everything will be perfectly fine. It's not Obakabi. We're staying. Mm -mm. <clears throat> uh, Dibble? This is going to be awkward. Uh, it, it, it is awkward. It is awkward. Because <laughs> he takes his metal box out. Chink! A lot of coins in it. Wow. Your friends need to leave. Okay. Bad for you. Uh, if he's got his satchel on, I'm gonna poof uh, Omen into the satchel as the snake to kind of peek out. <laughs> There's now a weasel, a pigeon, a lizard, and now a snake a in my lion snake. snake. So <laughs> there you go. That's fair. And I say, Camille, let's let, let's give them their privacy. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Nothing Fine. bad could come out of this. Fine. <laughs> Stun. You guys walk out? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to connect uh, to Omen. No, 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 no. Oh my god, you hear me. Uh, nice. Camille, Zadar, you are outside. Zadar, your eyes roll back in your head. You become a wildling. You get the mm -hmm. white eyes. You're watching. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's Frodo having an orgasm. Dibble, uh, he goes, you need to keep better company. Because those people, not like him. He opens up the metal box. He goes, what I need for you to do is to deliver this for me. And he goes, flunk. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, that's an 18. <laughs> uh, that misses. That's an 18 on the die. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, uh, you can't roll over an 11 or it automatically misses. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, the better nice news feature. is, <laughs> guess who needs to roll a constitution check again? No! Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, he gets plus 7 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a natural 20 on the save. Uh, you are not uh, Cheech and Chong in it this time. Uh, I will give you a reaction. Reaction. Yep, and you're uh, zoning out on us again. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I, I, we can hear you, though. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I don't have anything that is a reaction. I only have actions. Uh, everybody initiative. Oh. Rolling initiative. That was poor. I just need to be better than you. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 20. 20. Sadar. 25. Uh, okay, Dibble, you're up first. Uh, I pull out the knife 
and then I say, Tungsten, Tungsten, why, why would you do this to me? What, why would you possibly do this? And as my enchantment school wizard does, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, nine plus one, ten. That is a fail. Okay. You are now incapacitated, and you're you're charmed by me. We're just we're gonna stop doing this, Tungsten, right now, and we're just gonna have a simple conversation. And I don't know, honestly. I don't know. How long does it take for them to break down the door? <laughs> they will break down the door and they will attack last, even though they beat Tungsten on initiative. It is Tungsten's turn. Uh, he will try and break the enchantment. He does not get a chance to. Really? Okay. Really, this is <laughs> a one-time thing for the enchantment wizard. I just get to talk to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. until someone hits you or if I move away from him. Fair enough. Zadar, Camille, uh, you kick in the door. Uh, you see Dibble facing off with Tungsten. What would you like to do? It's oh. a simple misunderstanding, Tungsten. It's okay. I'm going to hold my action to see how this plays out with uh, Tungsten. and. Uh... Now, you already saw Dibble get attacked. I know I did, but it looks like he has it in hand. So, <laughs> yeah, that too. But... Camille, what would you like to do? He's got a little dibble dribble. No, I'm just kidding. I told well, there is coming from the knife that Dibble's holding. I told you we shouldn't have left. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm holding my action. So. I cast. She, she got a 20 as well. What are you doing? I cast Fog Cloud. Oh, <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> it just turned messy, folks. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it might have. <laughs> Yeah, because this room's only like 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. So that fog is going to seep out through the open door. Uh, top of the order, Dibble, uh, gray streams of fog are starting to rise quickly, and you are barely able to focus in on tungsten. What would you like to do? I would <laughs> like to... Sorry, I just want to double check something. Otherwise, you screwed me over. <laughs> okay. See or hear, so the fog cloud doesn't screw anything. As long as Dibble keeps talking. So, Tungsten, hey, we're at Dome. We're having a conversation right now. Why are you trying to kill me? And who killed Dorian? And so I use my action to maintain it. The second I stop using my action to maintain it, it also drops. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all friends here. Back to Zadar. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm. Dribble, what are we gonna. What are it's we doing? Dibble, <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a medical problem that he has to yeah, take care of when he leaves. He's got it now. <laughs> okay, so I've talked to Hepatitis Carol once or twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> nice. I didn't know it was her fence post. Oh, my God. Anyway, what are we doing here, Ben? The, I mean, do you have this in control, or should we just bolt? Well, if you bolt, you're going to leave me behind, and I'm a dead man. So when I'd I say we, it. I'm talking about all three of us. <laughs> so. No, I've got it for the moment. Okay. <laughs> Holding your I could still. use a glass of water, though, at some point, yeah. because I have to keep talking. Because you're, you're just talking. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just like, are we going to keep him alive, or we're just trying to just trying to get some information out of him before we kill him uh, did i say kill tungsten <laughs> Damn it, devil. no we're not doing that <laughs> oh just uh keep doing your mojo or whatever it is you're doing meal you're up um lightning <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Right through Dribble's chest. I don't have that. Uh, no, you do not. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I 
don't have anything good. So can I poke Tunstan with my dagger? You sure can. <laughs> Oh no! Don't do that! Please don't do that! <laughs> oh, you, can, you don't see her because she's in the fog cloud. <laughs> <laughs> can she see tungsten through the fog cloud? Maybe she'll trip over his bench. She will be attacking at disadvantage. Go ahead and roll at disadvantage. Is incapacitated, so I don't think that does anything. 13. Uh, that is not good enough to hit. Uh, so does he not get another save? Nope. Top of the order. This uh, spell is bullshit. Shit. <laughs> it's not a spell. It's a class feature that takes up my action during a round of combat. I'm sorry. This class feature blows. Go ahead, Tungsten, devil. You're up. You're welcome. So, Tungsten, why are you trying to kill me? I have been ordered by DeLuca to kill you. DeLuca? Who's DeLuca? DeLuca. Wait, I assume I know who DeLuca is. No, I, I don't. Who's DeLuca? DeLuca is the man that ordered me to kill you. The pizza guy? Uh, Zadar, you're up. That's just... <laughs> Are you getting anywhere, Devil? Because uh, I'm itching to either get us out of here or... Take care of Tungsten. Just tell me what you want me to ask him. It sounds like DeLuca's going to be a problem. Mm. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Where is, is FedEx's De box? Yes. He will not know. Hmm. Camille, <laughs> you're up. <laughs> this is wow. DeLuca was on the, the I just sit down and watch we... Okay uh, Camille squats down uh, Everybody notices A gust of Wind coming Into the office Of Tungsten From outside in the tavern The uh. Gray tendrils of fog begin to lift, and everybody has a clear view of the, I don't know, charmed uh, tungsten. Uh, mm -hmm. Dibble, Zadar, Camille, you see everything, and uh, everybody perception check for me, please. Perception. In perception. Um, I perceive a 16. I'm putting myself at disadvantage because 18. I have to continually do this charming thing. Yep. So I am at eight. Uh, Zadar and Camille, uh, arcane words are being spoken outside uh, and appear to be the cause of the gust of wind. There's a mage or somebody is out in the main common room uh, breaking Camille's spell. Top of the order, Dibble, Fibbit, what would you like to do? I'm gonna keep charming. Okay. Uh, where is FedEx's uh, 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 room when uh, he, he likes to stay? And FedEx is at the red spot. And where is DeLuca? You're useless, Tunstan. But are you useless? <laughs> <laughs> With a perception check of uh, 16, do I recognize the voice? No, uh, you do not. I do not. It's not female in nature and pissed. Oh, yeah, it, it's a female. Mm. Okay, but whether I know who that is or not, that's... that's you will story. not have met this individual. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was hoping to God it wasn't somebody by the name of Uma. <laughs> nope, it is not Uma Thurman. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, so, uh, gosh, this is a hard choice, but, um, I tell you what, uh, Dibble, um, I hear something outside, 
I am going to check it out, and I shift into tungsten, and I walk outside. In, in full view of this person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Camille, what are you doing? He's like, go. Oh, uh, I can't hear you, Kyle. <clears throat> Assuming that the fog cloud, you know, is slowly dissipating, you know. Yeah. It might have a chance to do it stealthily and sneakily. Yeah. yeah. So, Camille? the mage that's dissipating in the fog cloud? Yes. Is in the common room. I attack. Fair enough. Go for it. The mage or tungsten? The mage. hell is that? Well, I was going to try to be surreptitious about it, but yeah, I guess we're going all in. Uh, seven. Not even close. Damn it. Uh, you see the female wizard do this. Oh, no. An eldritch blast goes flying past Camille, past Zadar. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yes, that's going to get him. Uh, that's a 19 on the die roll. Oh, no. The, the tungsten, right? Correct. Yes! Two eights and a seven. <laughs> wow. Tungsten falls backwards. Oops. Your concentration is broken. Uh, Tungsten is not dead. Top of the order, Dibble Thibbet, you see a, just a bolt of energy come into the room, smash uh, Tungsten, knocking him over the desk. Uh, you're pretty sure that he's going to be pissed. <sighs> yep. <laughs> and I will, am I frozen or am I? No, you aren't frozen. Uh, you're freezing uh, up. I'm freezing up. Okay. I am going to take a dagger that is dribbling dibble blood. The dibble and dribble. I am the dibble dribble. And I am going to place it on top of uh, tungsten. And I am going to cast a spell as I put gold glitter on it. And I am Thor's hammering that son of a bitch by casting a movable object. You're hammering tungsten? Yes, I am putting the dagger on top of tungsten's chest, casting a spell on it. It is now an immovable object. Yeah, like... Okay, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to step away from tungsten because I don't think he'll be too happy. Fair enough. Uh, Zadar. Did she have a clear view uh, into C Tungsten? I mean, obviously she did if she hit him, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so she knows I'm not the real deal. Nope. So, oh, Jesus. But everybody in the common room thinks you're the real deal and that this mage is attacking somebody else. Yeah. And so she is not the enemy. And they, they paid no mind to her. They are like, they're, they don't give a shit that she's done it? Or... As, you, as you step out, she's apparently saving Tungsten. Is she? Or is she? Because <laughs> that's Tungsten. According yeah, to the, yeah. the bar flies. Yeah. And, uh, and as I'm just like, okay, so I summon up the bar flies and I <laughs> just say, <laughs> I say, get her! <laughs> Persuasion check. Okay. Does he get advantage for looking like Tungsten? No, they know who she is. Uh, 17. Uh, they move on her. Uh, okay. At the same time, Camille, what are you doing? I'm watching. You see her do <laughs> this. Gone. Oh, shit. Uh, she dimension doored right out of there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Where'd she go? <laughs> oh, boy, she got away. Damn it. So, just just head to the bar. Drinks on me. 
done. <laughs> you just made about 13 new friends, Tungsten. <laughs> oh, man. So I, I head on back up to the office. <laughs> I want to close the door. I am. <laughs> I'm closing the door behind us. Uh, all three of you are in the office. I assume I cannot move off the uh, immovable object. You can make a strength check to try and push it away. But it is a dagger. Uh, 17 plus 2, 19. He can push it 10 feet. He flips it off his chest and jumps up. He's not done fighting yet. Top of the order, Dibble Dibbit. Tungsten, just calm the fuck <laughs> Right, yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> no, that, that doesn't work anymore today. Anyway. Wah, wah. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go ahead and sorry. Takes me a second to figure out what I'm doing. And that's called D and D. <laughs> right. Uh, I will cast Charm Person. On so him. I need on him. So I need a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, and four. At advantage because we are fighting it. Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Minus anything? Uh, no, I think he's a zero. Wisdom is plus one. Negative seven. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't charmed. <laughs> the eyes burn like embers in a fire. Zidar, you're up. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna have to, to make a wisdom save. <laughs> Let me show you how this is done, Shorty. <laughs> uh, another eighteen. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's two in a row, folks. All right, Kara, you got this charm person. <laughs> Camille, you're up. Oh, come on, camera. Fix yourself. All right. Okay, I'm going to whack him in the head. Here I was, getting all cocky. <laughs> Step aside, I'll show you how it's done. Ooh. Oh, Camille, Ooh. you go ahead. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nineteen. It hits. And it's along with all the other damage. <laughs> ah crap. Should be one D six plus. Yep. Four. Uh, not bad. He's hurt. Uh one Camille, two Zadar. Three, four, five, six, dibble. <laughs> Damn! Wow. Five, dibble. <laughs> uh, that's a miss. No, uh, that was to see who it was gonna hit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Does a 16 get you? Yes. Uh, thank God he gets plus seven. Uh, D, D4 plus, or D8 plus four. Uh, seven plus four, eleven damage. Ow. As he, as he skewers you, and it is your turn, Dibble. Can it uh, person uh, in? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I no, we... I am going to, uh, I say, <laughs> do we have any healing potions for him? I'm a dead man. Uh, I think I still have one. Would that carry over, Frank? That carries over. Okay. From cacophony. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I will cast Jim's down your leg. <laughs> magic <laughs> missile. Oh, please be another one and kill yeah. yourself. <laughs> no! That's a 21. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, eight. No! Oh, it's a two that I rolled. Uh, and then a 15? Uh, 15 does hit. Okay. So that is going to be... Uh, one, two, three. I should have more dice. Uh, I read so dice. That would help. all your yeah. dice needs. 
<laughs> so the two of these hypoallergenic, gluten-free darts of magical force <laughs> hit to two. That seems uh, oddly fishy gaming with you. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? You'd think I'd be pirating this material. Wow. With oh, pictures you of think... dog. But nice. the way we're playing, you think we would have some kind of uh, adventure sense. You know? Nice. Ah. Nice. Well done. You're welcome, Kyle. <laughs> How much damage did you do? A 12 force damage. Very nice. Uh, Dibbit's magical energy cascades all over Tungsten Platt and blows his frickin' head right off his shoulders, uh, uh, spraying goo along the Ew. back wall. Just as you hear... Uh, Tungsten, you okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Uh, deception. I'm pretty good at that. Ooh, yeah, I'm really good at that. that 26. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, drinks are still on you, right? Yeah, uh, I go up to the box. I look at, is there any gold inside, inside the box on the desk? Uh, actually, there is. There oh, is... Ooh. 600 gold pieces in coins. Uh, Dibble, what did you do with the dagger? Uh, it's floating in midair, dribbling Dibble blood. It's a plus one dagger. Uh, and there is an unfurled parchment from DeLuca indicating that the mission has been compromised and Dorian has failed. The missive concludes with take steps necessary to ensure those with any knowledge of it be taken care of. Well, this isn't ominous at all. <laughs> hey, guys, I gotta go. I'm gonna take my dagger and leave. Bye! But before he goes, <laughs> I, I grab, like, three gold pieces, I open the door real quick, and I say, make sure they get this to the guy that was just at the door. And oh, okay, it. boss. <laughs> Keep drinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So. Anyway. Uh, there you go, folks. Uh, with Zadar looking like Tungsten and throwing gold everywhere like he's fucking King Midas, you guys should be able to escape with the 600 gold pieces, the plus one dagger, and the unfurled parchment that may or may not help uh, Fomunda D's nuts help you discover who this freaking DeLuca is. Odds on favorites say... Not likely. Mm -hmm. uh, we will conclude a little bit over 10. So Kyle, like how, how long is that? How much time? Three. Three, three minutes. minutes. Wow. Three, three minutes. minutes. Three whole minutes. Gosh, three whole minutes. But, but we haven't even done Wait, final hold thoughts. on, hold on, hold on. Let me go to the red spot and uh, try and find uh, FedEx's box real quick before we go any further. Uh, Do I you... find FedEx's box? Give me a roll on investigation. Of me. Uh, that is going to be a 24. You'll oh. find it. Yes! Suck it, FedEx! I'm better than you in every way! I'm not dead, motherfucker! And these are my seals now! <laughs> I'm gonna rob this whole cacophony blind! <laughs> Me, Garrett, Steve, Stevette, S uh, what was his name? Gary, Gary the Snail, Larry the Death Snail, Jim, Peter, wow. Marie! We're all losing fingers. And Titus Carroll, we're getting awesome out here. <laughs> you are my tiny pole dancer, Dibble. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, final thoughts. Hot fish games. Hot fish games. Dot com. Wow. Uh -huh. And uh, what was the other thing that we were trying to get sponsored for? I have no idea. Uh, Jose Cuero, or not Jose Cuero. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Jose... I don't know. Whatever Scott drinks. Hey, no, 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 no. We've Don already Julio. forgotten. Don, Don Julio. Oh, that's right. But you know what? Screw those guys. They uh, they aren't talking to us. Uh, <laughs> David, final Who thoughts. Who is Jose Cuero? Oh, it, it was fun. I mean, being clueless. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lots of fun. It, it, at <laughs> I mean, least you had a guide. <laughs> yeah, you know, two, two of them, you know, supposedly. You know, the DM and Kyle. Well, Kyle we had, only had some information. Oh, okay. I did kill Dorian. It was amazing. You did not kill Dorian. No. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, good game. Really good game. Enjoyed it? 
And, uh, yeah, like any other good games that you might find on a certain website by the name of Oddfish. Hmm. Might want to check it out. I understand they're our sponsor, and we appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Carrie, final thoughts? It was fun. And... Until uh, it wasn't. I'm sorry, <laughs> Until what? Until it wasn't. Nice. Until it wasn't. What's that show? Dumbass show. Something on MTV. Who cares? Who cares? I had to guess <laughs> Fog Cloud. That's yeah. all I need to do. And you made a bunch of urchins very happy that are now going to come down with freaking rabies. Rabies. Yes. <laughs> I was about to say the they're dogs. rabid puppies. So <laughs> fucking awesome. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm happy. So, it's all good. That's that's all that matters. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, great. Uh, buy it. We got a lot of cool designs. If you want to join us in Discord, it's there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to seat on the uh, August panel, <laughs> let us know. M Hobo Inc., both at Twitter and Gmail. Give us a Just call. Just make sure you include Oddfish Games, or we're going to ignore you. Right. Make sure you uh, tell us your at... favorite adventure sense. <laughs> nice, nicely done. Sewer. <laughs> uh, no. no. Vampire no. lair. Yeah. Uh, folks, go ahead and visit oddfishgames.com. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to Twitter feed, Pirate Dog Dice, Etsy Ooh. office, uh, Etsy shop opening soon. Last but not least, Kyle. Uh, 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 Oddfish Games, if you're watching this, you should make a new scent called Cacophony's Hepatitis Carol's Fence Post. Oh, no. <laughs> there should be a slight tang to the smell. Oh. Cedar and tang. What? Cedar and iron. You know, like when you lick a, when you lick a nine volt battery. <laughs>